when Greylock 3.1 was released, they actually brought uh, the views uh, or the extended search into the open source version and uh, they changed the alerting system. Let's take a look at the extended search. So I'm going to click on streams this time and I'm going to go to my PFSense logs, uh, which were quite some time ago. And uh, this is how they look like, right? But um, if we were going to go to views and create a new view, and by the way, views should also be available for the Greylog users with read permissions only. So they can uh, create their uh, own views and share them with other people. And let's search for everything in the PFSense logs. Uh, PFSense and here all messages. And as you can see, uh, we are able to to see a message count here and uh, the message table with the messages yeah and uh, let's do a quick one right here uh, let's go for the fields and let's select the alert type here and uh, we can do for example on a aggregate And you will see that we will have uh, notice and error. Yeah, let's get rid of this one. And here, let's change this table to something else by editing it. Here we have the count. Here we have the rows and visualization type. We can. Uh, change it either to data table pie chart or bar chart or scatter plot let's put it to bar chart yeah and um, here you can see notice 15th and uh, error 5 but um, we can also go for a pie yeah and we have it this way uh, you can uh, also select columns uh, the sorting and so on i'm not going to do that uh, and here you have different metrics uh, count average card and so on uh, if you like to learn more details about it uh, you can find it on the official uh, documentation for Greylog. if you're going to go to views or extended search And here you can see the details about it. Yeah. Uh, I will put the links uh, down below into the description. And this time I'm going to save it. And here is how it looks like. Quite nice. This view, you can actually save it. You can go for. Um, but before sa saving it, uh, let's let's save the we we can do some kind of um, configuration for error like the color. Let's, we can change the color. Let's change it to yellow, and you can see that uh, it changed right here. And we can also do uh, another thing. We can um, highlight terms, and in this case, I'm gonna say that. I would like to highlight error. Yeah, so I'm going to search for alert type and then error. Yeah. And here I'm going to say that I would like to highlight this value. And here we have the um, alert color or the highlight color, sorry. And I'm going to put it to red. Yeah. 
and if we were going to go to all of those messages you can see that error will be highlighted which is quite nice and let's get rid of the filter search let's search in everything and the highlight will still be here yeah so let's try to find the uh, yeah okay we found one you can see it here so all of your uh, messages or fields um, or anything related to this term with error it will gonna be highlighted if you like to save this search you can go to view actions and then save it and I'm gonna say um, pf sense error and then I'm gonna click on save and if I'm gonna go to views right now and I'm gonna click on load existing um, I already have another view but let's select the one that we have created pf sense error and this is how it looks like yeah. Another thing which uh, got changed into Greylog is the alert. Uh, right now we don't have uh, uh, conditions and notifications. And by the way, if you had notifications previously in 3.0, uh, right now you will uh, need to recreate them because the um, alarm callback the previous alarm callback was deprecated in the latest version so first you will need to create a notification and you can say anything like pf sense error then whatever kind of description you like notification type should be selected to email notification or you have some other options like HTTP notification legacy alarm callbacks but these ones are deprecated and you can see here legacy alarm callbacks are deprecated please switch to the no new notification types as soon as possible so uh, let's go back to notification type and select email notification sender you can put whatever you want here uh, you can put pf sense at graylog dot beats byte hard dot com yeah whatever you like uh, the users which you'd like to receive these uh, these messages or for example you can put the um, email like uh bits by part or whatever you want here to be your recipient uh and here is your body template of course you can modify this template according to your needs and then you just click on create uh, now that we have the notification uh, uh, configured we will have to go to event definitions and uh, create an event for this one we can say pf sense error yeah priority you can put it to low normal or high let's leave it to normal uh, then we will have the conditions and in the open um, source version you're not going to have the correlation option to correlate um, uh, two or more events and just have uh, filter and aggregation uh, here you can have the search query you can put uh, the same as I had before alert type and then you can say error uh, then you can uh, select your streams and here you can uh, leave it to filter has results or you can do aggregation uh, and aggregation is very similar to the options that uh, you have in uh, views when you create the views you have the if it's a count uh, the field um, 
and right now you have some kind of uh, operators like greater than smaller than equal to and so on threshold um, and I actually forgot to mention to you the search within the X minutes here is one by default and execute query every one or more minutes yeah I'm gonna leave it to the default click on next uh, here you can uh, add a custom field and the custom field uh, you can put it uh, to a name here and uh, all of these new fields uh, they will gonna uh, take the values from a template or lookup table yeah I'm not gonna do that I'm gonna click on cancel I'm gonna click on next and then notification uh, here you need to select your uh, notification that you have uh, defined previously so I'm gonna select this one I'm gonna click on done uh, here you have your grace period you can leave it to zero message backlog of course the latest uh, 50 message or you can put it to one or yeah whatever and after that uh, you can click on next and here will be a summary of your uh, event definition and you can actually see more details about uh, the notification how it will gonna go and what we're gonna show up in here and when you're finishing you just uh, click on done now um, I'm not gonna do anything uh, to to actually demonstrate you how you can send emails because I have done that uh, in a previous video but this is the new way on how you can configure stuff in Greylock 3.1 and uh, here you can see all, or, all of your um, alerts and events yeah you can actually look for an event or an alert and all of the events they will gonna be sent via a stream or be routed via a stream it's um, all events and because we don't have anything naturally nothing will gonna show up now let's test out the um, uh, views for the gray log reader so I'm gonna open up a new window and uh, here you can see that I have the gray log reader user uh, configured and I'm logged in as the Greylog reader and on streams you can see that I have access to every stream I have access to every dashboard and right now we just need to go to the views and create new view to use the extended search and I think I know why it's not working uh, let's check the roles for um, this user so I'm gonna go to the um, to my um, admin user and I'm gonna go to authentication and users and right now for the gray log reader we have only readers and reader if we were gonna click on edit We should be able to see these roles, uh, views manager and views user. Uh, now, if I'm gonna give access to the role of uh, views manager, that means that uh, the Greylog reader would actually have uh, uh, management roles over the views. Like uh, he can delete views, he can uh, uh, do whatever he, he thinks with them, yeah? And by default, only the admin users, uh, they have this uh, privilege. Because we wouldn't like uh, uh, such a thing, uh, we will give access uh, only for the views user. We will gonna update the role. And you can see here the uh, change taking effect. Now I'm gonna switch to Greylog Reader. And here I'm gonna refresh this web page click on create new and yeah as you can see right now it works so over here you can uh, do these things and your uh, users your Greylog users which have uh, read permissions if you give them the views user role as well they will gonna have 
uh, permissions to uh, search in all the streams at the same time feature which they didn't had before and of course you can also uh, uh, load an existing one and uh, uh, this uh, pf sensor you can see that uh, it was shared by admin and uh, this one was created here and of course you can uh, create your own uh, after you save it you can uh, share it with anyone you want like and so on uh, cool so that's pretty much about uh, the extended search in uh, if you are a um, user that has only read uh, access permissions let's go back to the um, admin account and the latest feature which is uh, quite important with uh, Greylock 3.1 are the canon packs here if we were gonna create on a uh, create a condom pack you're gonna see some changes and I'm not talking about this part this part you can uh, uh, fill it up uh, as you like uh, the main thing which uh, happened in 3.1 are the um, condom pack selection uh, right now you can uh, save your dashboards uh, you can um, uh, save your event definition for um, alerts you can send a notification uh, that you have created uh, the grok patterns uh, um, grok patterns you could have saved it before um, look out the uh, look up adapter look up cache look up table uh, right now you can also save your pipelines and the pipeline rules which is perfect I would say uh, the sidecar the sidecar collector configuration and yeah you can basically ba back up uh, um, everything uh, about um, your or almost everything about your uh, uh, Greylock configuration uh, as you can see you cannot back up uh, views yet uh, most probably when they were gonna release a new version of Greylock you would also be back uh, we you would also be able to back up your views and uh, who knows maybe in the future you could um, also back up your um, uh, authentication uh, configuration that you have done here but yeah like I said maybe they were gonna do it with a new release in the future and um, that's pretty much about uh, Greylock 3.1 and the new features that they added thanks for watching don't forget to subscribe uh, hit the like button if you like the video share it and talk to you guys in the next one